All right, so I'm going to be checking out all the torment after a while. It's been, I think, three months. Last time I checked was December. So in the meantime, they've uh, done a bunch of updates, one of them being this dude is supposedly better. Which, the best stage I'm gonna do to test this out is this one, because there's, like, a measure. So I'm gonna skew towards summons. But basically, if the first boss is, like, something that takes ages to do... Then, that, that was the problem with this class. It felt like against bosses, it just struggled immensely. We'll see how it goes. I can't just hit escape, okay. We'll see how it goes. I'll, I'll just mess around with this for a little bit, not too much time. Um, apparently the game's releasing soon, so... When that happens, I might check it out a bit more. Like, they're just not good with early access games. <laughs> I check in with them from time to time, but then I kind of forget about them. Though, admittedly with this one, I've been a little better. Take health because the sacrifice bonuses you can pick up. And that should offset that. There we go. I'll do summons in general, because that should affect the golem. Multi-strike summons, spawns, force. No force, yeah, that's fine. We can do other things for knockback. see if this feels good. Um, there we go. So, lose health, but then more damage. I picked up a health upgrade, so that should offset that. Okay, here we go. So, if, see how well this goes. Golem like a heavy, heavy hit. Uh, we have movement speed. Can't neglect movement speed. Oh yeah, no, that was, that was smart. Run into the crate again. Area damage. Attack speed. So 
far, it doesn't seem too different. Okay, I guess if I was to pick... Okay, this is more blood magic. It does look like it's affecting the summon size. I'm not sure if it's prioritizing the boss. Like, I have my mouse over it, but... I don't know if they updated the AI. Getting damage. We'll see. Last time I, I could get it to about half HP before the next one appeared. Multi strike spawns. Okay, cool. I think that's the thing is the target prioritization thing. I wish I could just make it so. It's attacking the boss. So that's the biggest problem. It's not that it can't handle the normal enemies. It's that the boss has a hard time. Well, that's about half HP, so let's just see. Damage and force. Damage ability. I right, do that. Golem power. See how this feels. Uh, I guess that one's too good not to get. I mean, that's better, but... <sighs> the other boss is here now, so it's kind of the same problem. But it's not as severe, I guess we'll see. More damage to summons. The other thing is I didn't really get many summon stats appearing, so I don't know. I'm not going to judge it too much yet. Because sometimes other characters have similar rocky starts. It's definitely nowhere near as rocky as it was before. Because I could barely get it to half HP before Horsey Dude turned up. So I think it's an improvement. Then I would absolutely struggle with the horse guy. Um, I guess go block strength, but uh, as much as I don't want to. Um, media strike. I don't think I've seen this before. Okay, well, we gotta go to the. We gotta retrieve this bottle so I get one more reroll. Let's see how it does against this boss. Oh, 
Back up, back up. I can't tell if the summons are prioritizing the horse a lot. Oh, that's not fair. I took damage. Um, let's see how this new skill does. Or at least new to me. It, it might have been added a while ago. But uh, the game is releasing soon, so might check it out more once that's a thing. So I already have another boss here, which, again, same problem. start, it's how you finish. So we'll see. Raven. It's not an enemy. Oh shit, this was a mistake. I'm trying to follow it. Was it leading me? It's clearly leading me somewhere. At this point, I'm, I'm following the raven. Doesn't seem to be targetable. Where are you going? I think I could have survived this anyway, but... Yeah. Oh, there's another revival. How many revives do I have? Oh good, another boss. to have move speed buff when I'm near the raven. Oh, I can't go through this. I went through it. <laughs> I'm following this raven.
It looks like it does have a buff when I'm near it, because I'm moving a lot slower now. It's gone. It's alright. Like, I don't think I was going to survive, that's why I started chasing the raven. I thought it was lead to a secret or something. It, it's gone? Alright. It's gone. I'm just gonna throw. <laughs> hey, you never know. Alright, so I mean, it does look like they've improved it. I'm not gonna let one run beside it, but... It does seem to be better than what it was before. Because before, by the time the horseman showed up, it was, uh... I think I, I could only- I could barely get it to half health. I played Battle for Bikini Bottom. Uh, no, never. Because I didn't have any of the consoles that that game came out on at the time. I know there's been a remake, and I do have a copy of the remake somewhere. It's on PC. Yeah, now it is, but like... At the time, I did not have a good computer. Like... Yeah, there it is. Didn't have the newer consoles, and my computer may as well have been non-existent, because it just couldn't play any games, aside from, like, stuff from the early 90s. What do I want? I got area damage. I mean, yeah, I've, I've heard Bikini Bottom is, like, a favorite amongst people currently between the ages of 20 and 30. It's like core childhood memory, that game. I want to try and get Okay, that, that'll contribute. It's just not enough time in the day to check out everything I want to check out. I mean, basically weekends like the only time I got the most time. All right, I'll go help in case I do blood magic. Maybe <laughs> super, super, super long term. When I'm old and retired, that might be like a good thing to do. Is just I'll have all the time in the world, and then I can visit whatever older games I never got to play properly. But who knows? I mean, I guarantee there's going to be people from my generation, like being streamers in the 50s and 60s. It's just going to be a thing. I've noticed that there's a bunch of the larger streamers that are retiring. Like, okay, they they have enough money, most likely, but at the same time, it's like, why? 
to the age group ages as well. It's, I'm sure there'll be a market for like old people, old older older people playing games. There already are. Sometimes I look at the YouTube channel analytics stuff. And, uh, during the Animal Crossing era, it's kind of funny, because, like, the age groups shifted. And on the VODs channel, there were, like, quite a bit of people, like, above the age of 45 checking out the Animal Crossing stuff, which was nice. But, uh, it does make me think, like, yeah. It's gonna be a thing. You expect to become a forest one because of a nuclear fallout? <laughs> Have fun. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe the thing about a full-time streamer might be something that happens when I'm older. now. like to see if the changes they've done to summons is good enough. It does seem to be better. Um, but I mean, currently, the games that I'm playing are just in the lead into Thousand Year Door, because that's next month. That's what I'm playing next month. Without question. I mean, I'm assuming Chrono Trigger will last until the end of April, and same with Hollow Knight. And then after that, it's kind of a couple weeks before Thousand Year Door comes out. So they got time to squeeze something in there. I'm really excited for Thousand Year Door. It's gonna be fun. Particularly because uh, all I know about it is that it's good. I don't know a thing otherwise. Like, it's all I've been told over the many years I've heard of Thousand Year Door is that it's the last time Paper Mario was Paper Mario before every other entry tried some new combat gimmick that was like hit and miss and even when it hit it wasn't as good have i played the nintendo 64 paper mario i did a very long time ago i had it on the uh the virtual console for the wii um unfortunately securing like a real copy of that game is apparently not a good call just because a European slash Australian copy is ridiculously expensive. However, 
Um, the company where I get those, well, analog, basically. That company where I get those consoles that, you know, do the nice upscaling and picture and all that stuff. The nice output. I don't think they upscale, but the nice output. Their, their, their next release is a Nintendo 64. So when that happens, that means I'll have a region three Nintendo 64 that can do... I think that one's actually doing 4K natively, so I won't need to upscale it. But um, when that happens, I could probably acquire a copy of the American Paper Mario, because that's... Well, it's not cheap, it's not like $400. <laughs> so. I could pay for Nintendo Switch Online and get the subscription and play it that way, but it's like... I, I, I don't know, I don't think that service is worth it. So, hey, Vanna. How's it going? Um, sorry, I'm just trading with the headset battery because it's... It starts beeping in my ear when it gets down to 10%. 10% battery, and then it just goes beep, beep. Beep, beep. Like, every five seconds. Despite it potentially lasting another hour with the remaining battery. It's kind of annoying. But it's all good now. Yeah, the Arctis. I got the, uh, the Nova Pro. It's a good headset, but there's things about it I don't like. Particularly that a lot of the stuff that just used to be on board and now you have to get the software to be able to use it. And it's one of those things where it's like, hey, create an account to use our software to unlock features. And then they just put push marketing shit to you. Look at this, because this has knockback. You had the sevens and they would incessantly be blasting forever. Yeah. Like, good headset questionable choices sometimes when it comes to features. Um, how is it going? It's going good, just chilling. I haven't played this game it's since December, and it's releasing soon, so I figured I'd check out some of the changes they've done. Uh, but just talking about, like, older games a little bit. And also just like, uh, I was just saying, I wish I could check out everything, but time is like a limited thing at the moment. But then thinking like, it, eventually, old man, like super duper old man, maybe I can. Cause like, what, what am I going to do when I retire? I mean, travel, sure, but like, can't constantly be doing that. I feel like at that point, I could do full-time streaming, and I think at that point, it's probably a thing that's going to happen. You're going to see more and more streamers be old, just because of the ages uh, aging. Well, as a hobby, you know. I think it wouldn't be a bad idea. And because just people have aged with you, it's kind of like... There'll be more of an audience of older people watching streams in future. There already is, like... I was saying for the Animal Crossing stuff on the VODs channel, there was, like, a good percentage of older people watching. The VODs, anyway. If 
Like, from time to time, I check in with the analytics stuff. This is doing better. Okay, I can see that it's doing better because I beat the gargoyle. It's still struggling, but not as much as it was before. Transforms the damage of summons to lightning. What the hell? Okay, that's new. But I'm probably going to do some Stardew in a bit. On my single player file. Um, how long is Battle for Bikini Bottom? Ah! <laughs> Confirming. Fuck. Trail Fire. Lock String. I might go... Dump these... In the well so then I have access to them. For seven year old, you see three months. But okay, it's one of these games that's from that era where it's like, it's as long as you want it to be, right? You can either go finish the game and you'll be fine and it's relatively short, or you get everything and then it's long. You'd estimate seven hours, okay. Yeah, I, I, no, like, I, I definitely figured it's, like, one of those collect-a-thon games. Because anything from that era, it just has a bunch of stuff you need to get to 100% it. I appreciate that. I guess since we're doing lightning, let's do lightning strike. I'm not going out of my way because like I do have a copy of it. It is in my it is in my box of PS4 stuff somewhere. Cause it was something that I saw I think for five dollars and I was like, okay, well, I've heard about this game for five bucks, it's whatever. Nine hours, fourteen to hundred percent. That's not too bad. I'm not gonna make any promises but at the same time it's like if um if i get through hollow knight and chrono trigger and there's like I still time before paper mario then i i can check it out if it would please people i'm sure there are others that would enjoy like me checking that one out uh, others have mentioned that as well, not just you. Was I a SpongeBob kid? Uh, no, because I was a teenager at that point. <laughs> but I used to watch SpongeBob at like three in the morning um, when I was living at my grandma's because I was sleeping on a fold-out couch that had just it was broken. Let's face it. And sometimes I couldn't sleep, so that was on. So I watched the earlier seasons, um, yeah, at like 3 a.m. Not a lot of it, but I did enjoy it. It's a speedrun game. Ah, oh, I'm not a speedrunner. 
if I stole some viewers, they'd be going right back after they see me, like, struggling. I think I care about more is, like, is the game fun and would the people that watch me currently enjoy it because they've been around for, like, a longer time. A short-term gain is, like, all well and good, but I'd much rather the... the the long term be content, you know? People who watch speedrunners frequently check out the category. That's how you find streamers. So what happens when you see that they're not a speedrunner, though? I mean, if I'm not mistaken, the way... ...that you came into the stream originally was, like, through Aona, if I'm not wrong. It was like a raid. Back in, like, the Mario Maker days. I mean, that went better. Yeah. Give me the bottle. Okay, I got another reroll. Every one second spread a random debuff, and that's kind of cool. You judge streams based off their sleep ability. <laughs> well, I have been told. I've been told that people do fall asleep. Streamers who whistle you instantly leave. There are people who whistle through their microphone. That wouldn't sound good. People actually whistle? <laughs> that wouldn't sound great. Because uh, the thing is, on average, most people, they're not going to have the best mic. So, like, it would distort the living crap out of it. I don't think even the mic I have would, like, cope with it well. The one for me is, like, if they're checking the f their phone constantly, that's, like, that's one that it's immediate, nah, I'm good. Speedruns you follow, follow constantly mimics the in-game sounds with whistles. It's awful. Good whistler, you just can't. <laughs> no, I feel ya. Also can't do irritating stream alerts. Yeah, so I can watch I can watch streams that have alerts. It's like, there's there's a spectrum, right? There's, like, the end that I'm on that have minimal, like, non-existent alerts. Nothing pops up. It's all about the gameplay. Then there's the middle ground where it's like, oh, followers might pop up. Um, and you might have, like, things on screen that have view viewer goals, that sort of thing. That's fine. But then there's, like, the extreme one where it's... People donate five bits and then it's like <laughs> 
That I, I the moment I see it something like that, I'm, I'm out. Oh yeah, like just some alert that's loud and obnoxious and it's going off constantly. It's not for me. Why have a shit post screaming for an alert? So, it's funny if it's a once-off thing. Like, I watch Germa 985 a lot, and... I can't remember when he did it, but he was playing a Souls game, and he had, um... Like, a clip from wrestling playing as his, uh, subscription thing. And people just kept subscribing, and every, every time it happened, it would make him die, and then he just kind of lost control because he got... It was basically 20 minutes of people subscribing, and he was just laughing and dying. Because every time it popped up, it was just... it was funny. That is fine. But then he got rid of it. You know, it's... it's, it's not there anymore. The thing is, I know with, like, my personal taste in streams, like, I am definitely in the minority. I think Goose Grabber's alerts were tasteful, just a goose honking appropriately. Man, that's a name I haven't heard in a while. The old goose honking thing. They're good, good emotes as well. In the very early days, I kind of experimented with that stuff a little bit, but then... I don't know, it just... <laughs> it bothered me personally after a while. I was like, nah, this isn't me. Yeah, I, like, we're talking early 2017, like, probably the first six months before I moved to the city. So, you wouldn't have seen it. But I did it myself. They were pretty short-lived. Because I was starting off and I was kind of convinced, okay, like, I know I want things to be minimal. And I've seen larger streamers that are minimal, but then I'm not a larger streamer. So I figured it was something that I couldn't really do a stream without having that stuff because viewers liked it. But then quickly I dispelled that and, yeah, got rid of it. Because it didn't really make much of a difference. I mean, I technically have, like, a little bit of a soundboard, but, like, I'd never use it. It's only if I'm in a, a mood that requires that, you know? The thing that I'm extremely happy about is, um, Hotel Mario, they found a beta copy of the game. So now all those, um, Mario and Luigi voice clips are now clean. There's clean copies of them. So I have a clean copy of this. This is it. 
Luigi. And this one. No. <laughs> That's great. But you know, I'm not gonna use them constantly. It's just sparingly. have a text bubble that slides in from the right and then slides back out for an alert. No sound. That's nice and minimal. Mine was just like, um... The animated gif of Mega Man from Mega Man X, like, just putting his arm up in the air. How's that? But again, very short lived. I'm con I'm almost convinced like nobody will remember that from like, you know, the current group. Maybe Nick, because he's been around the longest, but I don't think... I don't think he was around for that. Familiar, I think you follow someone who uses that gif. Yeah, pretty common. I didn't make it, just slapped it on. I messed around with a full screen one, but then got rid of it. I wasn't really keeping footage back then because no drive space, so there's, there's no way. This is still struggling. Not as much as before. Like, it's definitely more competitive, but... Um... It's still tricky. I've been streaming since 2017, but I feel like, I don't know, I didn't really land on how I wanted to do things without being interrupted by, like, moving or bad internet connections until maybe 2019. Hopefully at the end of the year, like, I can make the full jump to 4K, like, even with streaming. Because my internet connection will hopefully be upgraded by then. To have double the upload that it currently does. I'm not letting go of this internet connection. I'm not ever doing that again. That was such a, uh, a terrible experience. Mm. 
Mm, I'll go health regen. It is, it is struggling, but not as much. I might be able to make a comeback here. range damage. I'll do the elemental. Because that slows them down. You know, we're talking about recommendations yesterday and I thought about it more it's just it still baffles me like why twitch recommendations are that bad when I think about YouTube video recommendations they're pretty good they're not perfect but they do a decent job and it's not just YouTube sure they do the thing where like if you look at one bit of content in another genre it starts recommending you a bunch of that stuff like that happens but for the most part, it's it's fine. But I don't get why Twitch can't move to that. Like, beyond, you know, it might take a while to develop. I get that. If YouTube streaming wasn't that clunky and it did a decent job at recommending streams, man. I tried to find a live stream on YouTube the other day just to see, and it is not easy. Like, you kind of have to go out of your way to look for a live stream. Okay, lightning. But I'll tell you what, like, even, even when I finally found how to find a live stream, it didn't recommend me what Twitch does. Hey, okay. I never beat that boss before with this character. Well, at least with other bosses <laughs> following me. Oh, that sucked. On hit, chance shockwave. Okay. I'll take that. So I'm probably gonna die. I'll take that as a heal. There we go. Easy way to get 50 health. speed. Golem deals fire damage. Alright, sure. So I've got fire, ice, and lightning. Uh, 
bit fragile, sure. Alright. Lean into fire a little more. Um. I mean, I went crit this time. Test. Ooh. Um, multi strike spawns. Go, go, go. Oh. I don't know. The thing that I like about this game is just the sound of the bones. There's something about it that's just satisfying. Going with the golem ability because I want to I want to see where this goes. Strike. Is there enough difference to actually justify the game's existence of a vampire survivors? It is enough of a difference, I think. The vampire survivors, when you get to the late game and you've upgraded a bunch of stuff, it kind of gets to the point where, like, I I can stop moving, and it's fine. This game, I don't think I've ever gotten to a point where I need to stop moving. And... The gear system, I mean... It's a mix of, like, the stuff that I'm used to in Diablo, so there's that aspect to it as well. Fundamentally, like, the dodging is the same, but... What makes it different is you can't really... You can't really, um, get to the point where you're just, okay, I'm just blasting through stuff. At least not that I've seen. And this has boss encounters so that you have to actually pay attention to. So, I, I think it, it is different enough. It shares similarities, but 
there's enough of a difference. We'll see, because this is still in early days, whereas in Vampire Survivors has had years to flesh itself out, but I think the foundation of this is good. There are so many others that have popped up that are basically just either reskins or they just add some some layer to it and it doesn't really land. And so out of all the ones that I've checked out, this one gelled with me the most. It's like, okay. It has the gameplay style that got me hooked on Vampire Survivors, but then I think the nuance on just being able to have a run where you have to focus and dodge stuff is kind of neat. I'd play Vampire Survivors to chill. I wouldn't be able to play this if I was tired. Speaking of Vampire Survivors, there's another update coming out for that when I'm gonna check out. I think this game will find its audience. kind of reach a point in gaming where like it's very hard to have an idea that hasn't been done before that's why I kind of got hooked on Baltra just because I had hadn't seen something like that before and just the design of that game is is just excellent see what range does. I wonder if it just increases how long they travel for. The other thing this one has is you can turn off the auto fire and there are builds you can do that don't involve firing. Which, it's interesting. I guess go crit, fine. Oh yeah, no, we're, we're making the golem hit hard. Uh, attack speed, yeah.
No, we won't. I'm gonna keep pouring my resources into summons. I want to see what happens if I'm getting a lot of summon stats. Uh, crit bonus, because I don't want it to roll, I want it to melee attack. There's one where it increases the golem's attack speed. Multi strike spawn, yeah, do that. Multi-strike. What does that mean? <laughs> For a caster. Does it mean I summon twice or does it mean the summon strike twice? Some of the stuff is ambiguous. The one where the golem attacks quicker. Okay, well, it's doing better. But I'm still in a situation where, like, the horse dude is appearing. And I'm still not done with the first boss. the mouse cursor do um so i've got auto aim off so where i'm pointing it that's where my attack is going to shoot but with summons it's kind of nuanced because they get released and they have their own target prioritization which i'm not entirely sure how it works guess go splinters all right i need to take that to the Shit. And I just got the one I got. I got the power golem. I could turn on auto fire and then not have to worry about that. But I guess this is why... It makes this one feel a bit more active, because I can choose where I want to aim. go. Make that golem hit.
think when it comes down to it, it's just this whole thing where, like... The summons really should prioritize, like, where I have my mouse. I'm trying to get it to attack the horse, but then they do shit like that. Oh, no. Let's go attack some other enemy. It would, it would make this so much better. I get why to some degree, because it hit... It makes it so it tries to hit one enemy at least. Attack speed, main weapon. This is summons in general. Alright, cool. Best time here. Um, attack speed. All right. Yeah, no, I had another boss. Yeah, I'm not done yet. Yeah. Nice. Nice, uh... <laughs> oh, whatever. Okay, let me try another... Another alternative. Got my Firewalker boots. So I got. Yeah. The summon glove. Okay, hang on. Let's see what let's see what this does. Cause I forgot about the summon gloves that I found the other day. I mean the other time I played this. The other day, this that was like December. Okay. Interesting. So this is what I mean. There's like... I have this debuff aura that follows my mouth, mouse. So, I think that's where this differs from Vampire Survivors. There's like a bunch of stuff that is more active in its playstyle. Gloves. I think the way the gloves give me this buff right now, that should be the default. <laughs> How it should feel. This feels a lot better. But do, 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 I don't want to have this class that's like, well, unless you find this item, you're going to have a bad time.
I mean, the fire boots are also doing work. Curious if that affects the golem as well. I guess I'll grab it and see what happens. Um, base crit chance. All right, let's see what happens with the boss now. I think Affliction covers burn, so we want that. Yeah, okay, I think the thing that's doing the work here is not the summons, the fire boots, but at the same time, the summons are kind of immediately hitting the boss because I'm keeping close. All right, we're doing crit this time. Maybe this is the way I need to play against a boss is just like just be up in its face wow that was okay radiant aura attack speed thank you Damage, attack speed, area, uh, yeah. Crit chance. Or base crit, I guess. Do this. The affliction chance thing's probably good. Just because this holy light is gonna do affliction later. Um, the kind of vitality, do range. I'm hoping that affects for how long the uh, the summons stay on screen for. Multi strike summons, cool. Do that. This is going a lot better. The horse hasn't even spawned yet, so. Attack speed, thank you. Watch that golem cleave. Area damage.
air damage. I might actually make this viable. Damage, attack speed, area, sure. Okay, here we go. So, let's see how well I handle this. the movement speed. They might be able to catch up now. I think this boss is always going to be hard for this class, but I, I am doing better. Oh, you're dead. You are dead. There we go. Got it. Um, crit bonus. On kill chances to get hit. I might just go drop that off to then it's available to another class. It's not that I want to equip it. I'll make it so it's like selectable in a build. Fire. Okay, cool. I wonder how it picks the element, or if it's just random. I oh, know this is this is happening now. Look at this. Boss is getting demolished. Emits an additional attack that apply Fragile and Affliction, and I've been stacking Fragile and Affliction. Um, damage, crit, thank you. Oh, this, this light source is, is amazing. Okay, put the boots in. There we go.
uh, damage basic force shot. Attack speed, crit, crit bonus, the crit chance. Multi strike. Do it. Oh yeah, now with the fire boots, this is this is strong. Um, golem attacks deal fire damage, but there are I guess they're not. Are they dealing fire damage already? Take some health away. I can't neglect movement speed, it's required. That'll at least give me a little bit of everything. Alright, so multi-strike, it's referring to like... multiple summons, because now I'm shooting two. Golem more movement and attack speed. Look at how big the golem's cleave is. <laughs> it's so good. Um, yeah, keep increasing that fragile chance. Multi-strike, 40% multi-strike on main weapon. Okay. Oh, now I'm shooting three. Hell yeah. Okay, they are they are doing something. They they have balanced them better now. I'm shooting four three, four, three, four. Okay. Got some health because I've lost a bunch of health because of blood sacrifices. Jeez, I almost walked into that. Okay. 
Get him, Gollum! <laughs> Look at that cleave. Sun. I got a bottle. Oh, but I can't retrieve it because I already got an item in the well. Um. I'm not. I'm gonna go for XP instead. I'm not gonna spread myself thin. I kind of like what I've got going on. It's, it's really strong. And why not make it stronger? Instead of taking another ability that I will just dilute the pool of available stats. Alright. So this one I had problems with. Let's see how we go this time. Um, health. Just to make up for the health that I lost from the blood sacrifices. Ah, okay. Dude, the thing's all almost down already. Um, yep, give that golem more power. I'll go area damage. Makes my light source bigger and the golem just cleave. A ring. Changes the damage type of your main weapon into fire. Set 15% burn chance. I'm already dealing fire, but I'm assuming that's like an extra 15. So it'll just make my burn chance even higher. At least I hope that's how it works. Area. Okay, I'm convinced summons are viable now. Compared to what they were three months ago. like ripping through this crowd now. Start heading up to the other pickup. It's 
seems like a no-brainer. Who knows, there might be more blood magic. This run has only been 11 minutes. I just looked at the time in the corner. It feels like I've been playing longer. I'll get destroyed. Commits an additional attack. Okay, sure. Oh, look at how bright that is now. The problem is I can't retrieve them because I've already got an item in the well. Um, eh, I don't really want any of this, but I guess fine. Yes, give all of that stuff back. Um, crit bonus. Go, go, Golem. Circle of light, so massive now. Like half the screen. I seriously not take up a se I can't take up a second item. I'm sure the well can get upgraded somehow. That'd be sad to think like every run you can only take one. It's not giving me attack stats anymore. I wonder if, like, I've maxed it. <laughs> it's... Alright, I mean... 
May as well. I've dealt 1.5 million with the golem. Alka uh, metabolism. Oh, there's eight re minutes remaining. Okay, no, I read it the other way around. And I said, then this run is approaching the end. Oh my god. Holy crap. No, even with the classes I did well with, that did not go down that quickly. Every 30 seconds when damage, place, holy light. Mm. I wish I could recover some of this. <laughs> I can't. With the, my favorite class, I did not beat that thing that quickly. This is nuts. That went down in, in less than 10 seconds. There we go. That was an attack start. I have not seen the golem this round. <laughs> its cleaver is, is insane at this point. Soldier time. Follow the Raven. Look, look at how quick that boss is being taken out. Insane. Um, I don't want any of this XP, please. I'm not. I'm not gonna spread myself then. Like two spells that are doing insane amounts of damage is, is good. I don't want to dilute this. The potential stats that I'm getting either. Nothing. Yes. It gives me a level up, so it's like worth, I think. I kind of wish the golem would go to, well, 
upgrade too. That's what I've been banking on, but it hasn't happened yet. That was bad. Yeah, here we go. This is the army that I was fearing. Let's see what happens here. I'm curious what, how quick it's going to be to take this wall down. We don't want to decrease the area. Alright. Make the base damage higher. It's a little scary, not gonna lie. I can't tell if they've cleared one out yet. I'm trying to keep the aura on them constantly. Uh, damage. There's only two minutes left. I probably won't be able to get behind them. Either way, this has done amazingly well, like... How it was in December, there was no chance I could have gotten to this point. Okay, hold on. Uh, movement speed, because boss is soon. Double how much damage it did. Just in that time time frame. Insane. Right, there's like a minute left. I doubt I'm gonna break through this wall. Uh, give me the health, because it's to act as like a heal. I think I've taken some of them out. You can see that, like in the front line here, some of them have been removed. But it's pushed me so far back, it's not really worth it anymore.
Oh. Hang in that. Oh my god. Alright, there we go. Uh, damage, please. I'm gonna walk this way. So we can potentially level up. Yep, this is why. I've never seen this. It only offer a certain amount of stats. Like, <laughs> I'm I'm leveled. definitely the strongest character I've made. From weakest to strongest. <laughs> I want that other thing. I'm going for it. boss will probably die before I get to it. Alright, there it is. And that's not an upgrade to the golem, but I'll take... I'll take the XP. Alright, now you can die. <laughs> Had I focused him down, he probably would have gone down. Um, so, this is why it differs from Vampire Survivors, is that even when you're heading towards the end, you can't really ever stand still. I don't think there's a build that exists, at least to my knowledge, where you can just stand there. Like, okay, the screen is full of all your weapons, everything dies immediately. You can stop playing the game, really. So, that's the key difference between the two. Um... Yeah. That did really well. So let me say something here. Strong wine allows you to re-roll. Okay, so I need to I need to get more of these herbs. Bam on each level. Increases block while moving. That's cool for this class. Um pick up range, attack speed. Crit bonus. No. Spreads a random debuff in a small area. Maybe. I think it's fine with what I have here. The Archer was like another class that is fun, but it can be on the struggle bus. Let's see what they've done. 
But I'm gonna go into one of the other stages, just so we're not repeating the same thing. Okay, auto aim is R. Got it. Well, this one I'll go auto aim, so I'll go more classic vampire survivor style. Because I don't have any ability that really... Benefits yet. Um... Okay, we want attack speed. Uh, what have we got? Damage, force. Sometimes the stuff here isn't really helpful. We'll do range so projectiles fly further. We are an archer after all. Crit. I'll do attack speed, crit, and range. I gotta get away from here. I keep walking into this. Piercing, plus one base force, attack speed. Okay. Now we want quick arrows here. Stick to some key stats. Might turn on manual fire at the moment for the boss. Health. Hopefully it's one of the ones I need. Uh, 
uh, multi-strike on main weapon. It's getting a little scary. Uh, range. So I guess everyone's shooting point blank, but. <laughs> Alright, I need to get force if that's the case. Two stats, worth it. Needles. Because I've, I've been stacking fire rate. Right? Scaling with the stats I have, so it'll be useful. Um, multi strike, ten percent attack speed, and main weapon. All right, sure. Crit bonus, crit chance, crit chance. Base crit. I mean, make the needles crit more. Oh shit. This is getting scary. Attack speed on the needles. We need more stuff happening. Mm. Okay. You're down. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, if these things are chasing me, splinters are probably not a bad idea. Shields are going to be the end of me. Uh, 
Ow. Might just be a very difficult stage. There's a lot of stuff that's shielding right now. Um, uh, fine. I don't want to go defensive. Oh, that thing is well hidden. It's like behind the wall. Um. Well, I'm not gonna grab it until I've had upgrades for the abilities I have. Increase the area. That's the thing. It keeps giving me that option. I don't want it. Okay. I mean, as long as the needles are getting upgraded. Piss. Oh crap, there's a second boss. Um attack speed projectile size area. Does isn't that area still there? Attack speed, I guess. thing has to go down, otherwise it's going to be problematic. Ah! Problematic. Oh, this is bad. Might have a better chance of taking out the other one. Speed. What's this at? Alright, do that. Just debating whether or not it's worth picking it up yet. Oh, 
got it. <laughs> um, I might have to start investing in that. Okay, fine. I might just go sell that, so then the summon build has one more option. I'll retrieve it, not sell it. Mind you, I guess I have to survive. Alright, I kind of have no choice, I have to pick this up. Critical hits split the needles into two new projectiles. Yeah, we've been doing crit, but... Okay, they're both upgraded now. Big buff to movement speed. Just let me get to the well at least. how long I'm going to survive in this one. Okay. That, at the very least, is being retrieved, so then the Warlock has more options. Oh, the Skeletons are staying? dudes. Take it down. Alright, down. Uh, thinking about it. Probably this. Trap build. It'll help against the shielding guys.
Okay, this is not working out. Nah. Alright, well at least I got something for my efforts. I think I'll do one more. I wanna try with you again. So now you have another ring. See how well this does. Uh, guess attack. magic stuff later. I want stuff to do with the, uh, the summons. Alright, fine. Yeah, I mean, I'll do this. That's why I picked up the health fort. summon stuff. a little. Alright, I'm gonna head to the spell. And hopefully it'll be Golem. I know I'm moving very slow, but that's fine.
Trying to keep it closer than the summons go through it. There we go. Okay. No golem. We'll do the aura though. That was good last time. Alright. Uh... Start crit. At least the aura will help. Now it's a little less of a struggle. Strike. Yep. Trying not to neglect the summons. because I've got the aura, it's probably a good one to pick up. Uh, main weapon force. Nope. 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 Alright. Let's go help. Just to make up for that health I lost. Ah, That sucked. Doing a decent job. <laughs> I don't think even the archer could take this out this quickly when I was playing as it before. Adds an extra light, sure. Um, what have I got? A bottle. I'll try and take that back. Weapon damage, movement. I'll take the defensive movement. Fifteen percent damage to summons. Thank you. Okay, come on, give me gold. Arcane Rift, Arcane Splinters, Lightning. Hmm. I kind of don't want any of that. I'm going to do this. Again, diluting the pool of available stats. Yeah, 
this shield dude stand no chance against us. Uh, crit. Yeah, whatever they did, this class is a lot better now. This is the next boss, let's see what happens. Also, look at my skeleton army. Attack speed, movement speed, summons. Yes, please. from this thing for a minute. Crit. gonna follow me but I want to get to the well at least well it's in this room okay. put the bottle up okay. oh shit I walked right into that one there's a heal here as well. Ice? Grab that. Fire was cool last time. Golem, let's go. Looks like a buffed up golem as well. Okay, Brit, make that golem hit like a truck. This thing has to go down, it's causing me so many problems. Oh my 
god. Shit. Alright, lost res. Oh, that took forever. Um, it's a good one. Hold on. More damage based on health missing. I gotta, I gotta buff that golem. Is there another boss? What is with all the? Purple magic. Oh, these little things. They're like mini versions of the boss I just faced. Just hard. There it is. Electrifying shock waves when moving. Times two roll duration. Not the one I wanted, but that's fine. It's like it's an upgrade nonetheless. Don't want roll duration. Look at range. I wanted a heavy melee attack from the golem. That's better. Don't want any of that. Golem seems to get stuck sometimes. Yeah. Primary weapons, but Still did better than the uh the ranger. So hang on. Let's see, there's all that stuff to do. Um Okay. I need to go retrieve the the flasks thing I put in.
There we go. Yeah, I mean, I need to find more of those other ingredients, which involves playing the earlier stages. Okay, that'll do it for this session of this game. Um, so, apparently, they're leading into release of this, so... Next time you see this, most likely it'll be whenever the game comes out. Um, like, with early access games, I'll just check in with them every now and then, but... This seems to be headed release at least from what i've read so yeah looking forward to seeing what that looks like once it's done uh if you're watching this later on youtube thanks for sticking around to the end hope you enjoyed and if you do want to support the channel over there you can do things like click the like button subscribe or watch me play other things by clicking any of those videos that pop up uh thanks to that do that appreciate it a lot let's uh we'll see more of this soon <laughs>